What's up, y'all? My name is Rhino Spartan, and I have been doing some experimenting on a Clang drive I made a few weeks back. For those who don't know, a uh, Clang drive utilizes the broken physics in space engineers to propel an object in a certain direction. A few weeks ago, I made my own version of the Clang drive that is stabilized by using gyroscopes. In this video, I will be pushing my Clang drive design to its absolute limits. But before I start, I would like to mention that an extremely small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you do end up enjoying this video, please do subscribe. It is entirely free and I'm trying to get somewhere on YouTube. Without further delay, let's get right into this. The first question I want to answer is, how much weight can a clang drive push up? Well, let's find out. I put four space balls on top of this clang drive. Please don't take that sentence out of context. Um, each ball weighs a total of 20 metric tons. So there is a total of 80 metric tons on top of this clang drive. That way is equivalent to roughly three Statues of Liberty. Okay, instead of taking five seconds to reach max speed, it took six seconds. So, not too much of a change. Let's put more weight on it. Instead of putting, instead of putting six space balls on this thing, I decided to put on 20. That weighs a total of 400 metric tons. Or as much as 13 Statues of Liberty. Would it be Statue of Liberties or Statues of Liberty? Whatever. Anyway, back on topic. Let's see how long it takes for this thing to go up. Okay, instead of taking five seconds to accelerate, it took eight seconds. Instead of putting on 40 or 80, I put on 100 space balls. That weighs a total of 2,000 metric tons. I don't actually know what to compare that to. Oh, I know what to compare it to. It weighs as much as uh, 71 and a half Statues of Liberty. <laughs> it's so slow. It's, ta it's taking forever to accelerate. 2,000 years later. Jeez, that took forever. That took about 45 seconds. Okay, time to put some more weight on it. Instead of putting on 200 or 300, I put on 504 space balls. Well, you're probably thinking, well, that's an oddly specific number. Why did you choose that? Well, 504 space balls is equal to 10,100 metric tons. That weighs as much as the Eiffel Tower. So yeah, it's, it's pretty heavy. Even though I'm on Xbox Series X, I'm going to make a backup save of this. Okay, whoa. It's so tall, I can see under the voxels. That That's pretty insane. Okay, time for the magic to happen. And... Go. What? Are you kidding me? It's not moving at all. Oh, crap. I'll put on two more clang drives, see if that works. Okay, three clang drives should be enough to lift this amount of weight. Really, 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 really? Well, guess I have to put on more. Instead of putting on six, I straight up put on nine of these bad boys to see if it would actually lift up this amount of weight. It's it's pretty heavy, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, ignore my mess. Ignore it. it. I make messes all the time. Okay, let's see if this works. Hey, hey, it's actually going somewhere. Nice. It's speeding up pretty quick. 
Wow, it's going up pretty quick. Okay, so now that we know that Clang Drive can lift up pretty heavy things, let's see if it can escape the gravity well of a black hole. For testing, I'm going to be using the Terra Nova mod, which adds a really fancy skybox as well as a black hole type thing. It's not actually a black hole, it's a planet with a lot of gravity, because you can't actually stand on a black hole. There should, I think there might be actual black hole mods, but I'll just use this one. There are 10,000 G's on this black hole, but yeah, this is what we're going to be using to see if Clang can escape the gravity of a black hole. You're probably thinking, wait a minute, if, if it takes nine Clang drives to lift up the weight of an Eiffel Tower, how is one Clang drive going to lift up and escape the gravity of a black hole? Well, one can't do that job. I made it a Clang rocket, which has 42 Clang drives installed into it. It's basically made of Clang drives. And we're going to see if this contraption can escape the near infinite gravity of a black hole. Without further ado, let's get right into this. Okay, I put the rocket, the Clang rocket, on a platform because if I, w if I didn't put it on a platform, it would sink into the ground. Yeah, that's how, that's how gravity intensive this thing is. Will this rocket be able to escape the gravity of a black hole? Well, let's find out. Five, four, three, two, and hold on, let me get in there and go. Okay, that is not going up. That is not going up at all. Okay, ow, oh, 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 that's bad. What just happened? I sank through the ground. <laughs> I sank through the ground. Just shattered into a million pieces. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Okay. I guess black holes won this round. This is ridiculous. I'm just floating in the void. This is so weird. My gravity's going down though. I'm surprised I haven't I haven't exploded yet. I can see a block heading towards me. Oh! Look! Ah, ow! 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 What just happened? I'm in a hole. What? What? What happened? Where's the rocket? Where's the rock? The platform is intact. <laughs> what? The platform's intact. That makes no sense. Okay. Oh, this is the platform I made in space. What? 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 It's gone. It's all gone. <laughs> it's all gone. Oh my gosh. I made a tunnel like a few kilometers deep. That's insane. All the pieces must have deleted themselves the platform barely took any damage it was just sinking in too fast ow okay I can't even I can't even fly out I have to I have to use spectator mode okay it was probably sinking in too fast for the blocks to actually break it's that's insane Oh dear, that's not good. Welp, it looks like the black hole won this round of tug of war. But I'm probably going to try again to beat the black hole in the near future. You're probably thinking, well, why would you do that? Clang's unstable. Well, I don't fear Clang. Clang fears me. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks y'all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.